Welcome to Lesson 10, which roughly covers pages 67 to 71 of the Automate the Boring Stuff with Python textbook. In Python, variables inside of a function can have the same name as a variable outside of the function, but they're considered two separate variables. To understand how this works, you need to know about global and local scopes. Parameters and variables that are assigned in a function are said to exist in that function's local scope. Variables that are assigned outside of all functions are said to exist in the global scope. So a scope covers an area of the source code. Any given line in your program is in the global scope or a local scope. Each function has its own local scope. So in this program, this and this is the global scope, whereas this is a function's local scope, the eggs function's local scope. You can also think of a scope as a container of variables. A variable that exists in a local scope is called a local variable, while a variable that exists in the global scope is called a global variable. All variables are either one or the other. That is, a variable can't be both local and global. So scope is a container of variables. The global scope is created when the program starts and is destroyed when the program terminates. A local scope is created whenever a function is called and all the variables dis assigned during this function call exist within that local scope. When the function returns, the local scope is destroyed and these variables are forgotten. Because the variables in a function's local scope are forgotten, you should think of variables inside of a function as being temporary. They won't exist after the function returns. In this example, this spam is a global variable because it's assigned outside of all functions in the global scope, while this spam is a local variable since it's assigned inside of a function. And scopes matter for several reasons. One, code in a global scope can't use local variables. Two, however, code in a local scope can access global variables. Three, code in one function's local scope cannot use variables in another function's local scope. And four, you can use the same name for different variables if they're in different scopes. So let's go over each of those four points individually. They make sense as long as you keep in mind that a global scope for global variables is created when the program starts and is destroyed when the program ends, and a local scope for local variables is created when the function is called and destroyed when the function re returns. Local variables cannot be used in the global scope. I'm going to use the online Python tutor at pythontutor.com to demonstrate this. Consider this program, which will cause an error when you run it. This seems like it should work. First, spam is defined, then we call spam, that assigns eggs the value 99, then we try to print out the value eggs, but this actually causes an error. So let's view it step by step. The spam function gets defined, we skip over the code inside of it because we're just defining the function, we're not calling it. On line four, we call the spam function, so the execution moves inside of the spam statement. And now that we've called the spam function, We've created a local scope for spam. Any variables assigned inside this function will exist inside this local scope. So eggs equals 99, that's creating a local variable eggs, and we're assigning it 99. Then the spam function returns, which means its local scope is destroyed and any variables in that scope are forgotten. So when we return from the spam function, that eggs variable no longer exists. So when we try to print eggs, Python says, hey, there's no variable named eggs defined in this program. So local variables can't be used in the global scope. Local scopes can't use variables in other functions' local scopes. So consider this program. We'll have the same, but we'll also call bacon and then print eggs. We'll define that bacon function where it assigns a variable ham to one, uh, 101, and then also assigns eggs to be zero. So let's run this program and see what happens. So first step, spam is defined, we skip over the body of that function, and then bacon is defined, and we skip over the body of that function. And now our program calls the spam function.
So this is a function call. So a local, local scope gets created for the spam function. Inside this local scope, eggs is assigned 99. So we have a local variable eggs inside this spam scope. And now we call the bacon function from spam. So the execution moves into bacon. We create a new local scope for the bacon function. So now there are two local scopes that exist, one for spam, one for bacon. Inside bacon's local scope, we assign the variable ham, a local variable in bacon, the value 101, and then we assign the, uh, the variable eggs zero. Notice this is a separate variable. This eggs isn't the same as this eggs. They have the same name, but they're referring to two different variables. This one exists in bacon's local scope, and this one exists in spam's local scope. Now we've reached the end of the bacon function here, so we're going to return, which means that bacon's local scope is destroyed, so that ham and eggs variable are now gone. So inside the spam function, we're going to print eggs, and by that it means print out spam's eggs variable. So the eggs variable here is gone, which is why it prints out 99 and not 0 for this print function call, because local scopes can't use variables in other local scopes. This eggs can only refer to an eggs variable inside this function. It doesn't refer to an eggs variable inside of another function. The upshot of this is that local variables in one function are completely separate from the local variables in another function. If you see eggs right here, you know you're talking about eggs in this function and not in some other function. global variables can be read from a local scope. So consider this function. We'll just have a spam function that runs print eggs. We'll get rid of this bacon function. Let's have eggs equals 42. So this is assigned outside of all functions in the global scope. So this is a global eggs variable. And then we'll call spam, which then prints eggs. So when we run this, we can see first we define that spam function, and we then we assign in a global eggs variable, the value 42, and then we call spam. So we've called a function, so a local scope gets created for it. And here, we're going to run print eggs. Now since there's no local variable named eggs, Python is smart enough to say, hey, uh, maybe they're talking about a global variable named eggs. Since there's no eggs local variable, It'll check to see if there's an eggs global variable instead, which it finds it, and so it then prints out that one. So this prints out 42. One thing you might ask here is, if you see a variable inside of a function, is it a local variable, or is it a global variable that's just being read from the local scope? The way Python distinguishes between these two possibilities is that if there's an assignment statement for a variable anywhere in that function, it's considered a local variable. Only if there isn't an assignment statement, like in our example program, Python checks if there's a global variable by that name. This eggs is global, but add an assignment statement, eggs equals hello, and now Python will treat it as a local variable. Let's go ahead and run this program, and you can see the difference between these two separate variables. Spam gets defined, a global eggs variable gets assigned 42, we call spam, which creates a local scope for spam. And now we assign eggs the string value hello. This is a local eggs, which is separate from the global eggs variable. And then we print out the value of eggs, which prints out hello, the value inside the local eggs variable. Then we return. That local scope gets destroyed. And then we run this exact same code, print eggs, that was here. Except this time, we're in the global scope, it's referring to the global eggs variable, so that prints out 42. But what if you want to assign a new value to a global variable from inside of a function? Say I wanted to change the global eggs variable to be the string hello. But as soon as I add the assignment statement to do this, Python thinks it's a separate local variable. To mark eggs as a global variable, you have to add a global statement to the top of the function global eggs. This tells Python, even though I have an assignment statement, 
for eggs inside this function, eggs in this function will always refer to the global eggs variable. Don't create a separate local variable. That's it for global and local scope. You might want to watch this video again just to get these concepts straight in your mind, but first you might wonder, why do we even have scopes at all? Wouldn't it be simpler if everything was a global variable? And the benefit that local scopes provide is that they separate a function's code from the rest of the program. If something is going wrong because a variable has some bad value, there's only a limited area of the program you have to check for this bug. If something is going wrong in the global scope because of a bad variable value, you only have to check the code in the global scope. And if something is going wrong inside of a function because of a bad variable, you only have to check the code inside the function. The code in the global scope or a different function's local scope can't directly affect that function's local variables. Local scopes let you treat functions as black boxes. All that matters is the arguments you pass into the function when you call it and the return value that the function call returns. As long as the function's code is working, the rest of your program doesn't have to worry about its code and variables. To recap, a scope can be thought of as an area of the source code and also as a container of variables. The global scope is code outside of all functions. Variables assigned here are global variables. Each function's code is in its own local scope. Variables assigned here are local variables to that function. Code in the global scope can't use local variables, and code in a function's local scope can't use variables in another function's local scope. If there's an assignment statement for a variable in a function, that is a local variable, unless that variable has been marked global with a global statement. And the point of scopes is to isolate code so that the cause of bugs is limited to a particular area of the program.